नंबर वन एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज बिजनेस रिसर्च फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड इंट्रोड्यूस द एजेंडा ऑफ बिजनेस रिसर्च फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज बिजनेस रिसर्च सेकंड वन इज रोल ऑफ थ्योरी इन इंफॉर्मेशन रिसर्च एंड द थर्ड वन इज रिसर्च एंड एंड द मैनेजर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज बिजनेस रिसर्च Business research is a process of acquiring detailed information of all the areas of business and using such information in maximizing the sales and profit of the business. And the second one is role of theory and information in research. Uh, this one is theory plays a vital role in research. Theory provides explanation, understanding, and meaningfulness to research. Information plays a vital role in just about everything we do. in modern society like information data numbers documents sound act of a person to be delivered to the recipient in an order to explain inform and verify that the recipient may use such information for any particular purpose the last one is research and manager the manager in kind of big and small problems on a daily basis which they have to solve by making the right decisions like in business research is usually conducted to resolve problematic issues in the area of accounting and finance management and marketing so that's all from my side thank you hello assalam alaikum uh, my name is shafiq mujid khan and today my topic of presentation is types of business research uh, so basically there are two types of business research uh, first is the basic research and second is applied research So when we talk about basic research, basic research is basically to generate more knowledge and understanding of the phenomena of interest, and to build theories based on uh, the research results. Uh, such theories subsequently uh, form the foundation of further studies on many aspects of the phenomena. The process of building uh, on existing knowledge is the genesis of theory building, uh, particularly which is in the management area. So uh, there are several examples of basic research which can be provided. Uh, for instance research uh, into the causes and consequences of global warming uh, will offer many solutions to minimize the effect of the phenomena that is global warming uh, so uh, many large com- companies like apple bmw and uh, um, google microsoft and shell also engage in basic research for uh, instant fundamental research carried out at the german uh, bmw facilities um aimed at further reducing the fleet's greenhouse gas emissions and uh, promoting uh, the electro mobility uh, innovations um uh, so uh, after that when you say that university professors also engage in the basic research in an effort to uh, um, understand and generate more knowledge about various aspects of businesses uh, such as how to improve the effectiveness of information systems or um, uh, integrity of a uh, technology into the overall uh, strategic objectives uh, of an organizations so and uh, many more like this so after that uh, we have a second form of business research that is applied research uh, so applied research uh, refers to a non systematic process of providing solutions to uh, uh, specific problems or issues uh, these problems or issues uh, can be on any individual level group or a uh, societal level as well as it is called non systematic due to its direct approach uh, to find the solutions so uh, for instance so for instance uh, in some the research done with the intention of applying the results um, of the findings to solve specific problems currently being experienced in any organization or an individual level this, this is called basically the applied research research then uh, chiefly to make a contribution to the existing knowledge uh, is called basic but fundamentally or pure research the findings of such research uh, contribute to the building of knowledge uh, in the various functional areas of the business as well so that was all from my side thank you so much assalam alaikum this is hasan dada and my presentation topic is internal research advantages and disadvantages some organizations have their own consulting or research department the internal consultant to sub units of the organization that face certain problems advantages of internal research the internal research have better chance to be being 
readily accepted by the employees. The teams would require much less time uh, to understand the structure, the philosophy and climate and work system of the organization. They would be available for implementing their recommendations after the research findings are accepted. The internal team might cost considerable less than the external team. Disadvantages of internal research The internal team may quite possibly fall into a stereotyped uh, way of looking at the organization and its problem. Uh, there is a scope of certain powerful uh, qualification in the organization and the internal team to, con to conserve uh, certain facts. The most highly qualified internal research teams are not perceived as experts by the staff and management. The internal research team might in some instance make the findings as less objective and consequent and less scientific and they might have less fresh ideas and perspectives that might be needed to correct the problems there is a scope of certain powerful groups in the organization to influence or certain facts there is a possibility that the internal researchers are not perceived as expert by the management and hence their recommendation do not uh, get the consideration and attention they deserve. So, certain organizational basic of the internal research team might make the findings less objective and less scientific. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Jafar and my to topic of presentation is external researcher or external consultant. First of all, uh, introduction. Uh, what is external consultant? एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट जो होते हैं ना वो एक प्रोफेशनल कंसल्टेंट होते हैं जो कंपनी के अंदर एम्प्लॉयड तो नहीं होते लेकिन वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन उसको हायर करती है अपने इंटरनल प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग के लिए और आइडेंटिफाई प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफाई करती है प्रॉब्लम्स को और वो एडवाइस देते हैं कंपनी की मैनेजमेंट को कि वो कैसे इस इन प्रॉब्लम को से डील करें तो इस इसका हमारे पास जो टाइप्स है ना वो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर या एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट होते हैं एक हमारे पास कॉर्पोरेट कंसल्टेंट दूसरा हमारे पास पब्लिक रिलेशन कंसल्टेंट और तीसरा हमारे पास मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टेंट होता है जो मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टेंट होता है वो हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट के जो प्रॉब्लम्स होती है उनको एडवाइस करता है और जो पब्लिक रिलेशन कंसल्टेंट होता है वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और जो पब्लिक के दरमियान जो मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग या जो हमारे पास प्रॉब्लम्स होता है उनको रिजॉल्व करता है तो इसके एडवांटेजेस अगर हम देखें तो एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर के जो उन्होंने जो एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर होते हैं उनके उनके पास अच्छी खासी नॉलेज होती है प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग मॉडल्स उन्होंने और उन्होंने मुख्तलिफ ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम अटेंड किए होते हैं जो जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के इंटरनल रिसर्चर के पास इतने एक्सपीरियंस नहीं होती जो जिस दूसरे जो एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट के नस्बत तो वो क्या करते हैं उससे अच्छी खासी नॉलेज अपने एक्सपीरियंस है जो हमारे जो प्रॉब्लम्स है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को उनको रिजॉल्व करते हैं दूसरा उनकी जो एक्सपेर उन्होंने डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ वर्क किया होता है तो उनको अच्छी और मुख्तलिफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में सेम सेम टू सेम और सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम होते हैं जिनको वो डील करते हैं तो इसके बाद हमारे पास अगर इसके हम डिसएडवांटेजेस देखें तो जो एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर उसको जो कॉस्ट हायर करने की कॉस्ट होती है वो इंटरनल रिसर्चर के मुकाबले में ज़्यादा होती है और जो एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर है वो कंपनी या ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की जो उसकी जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग उसको जो उसको अच्छा खासा टाइम लगता है कंपनी के अंदर स्टेबल होने के लिए उसके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के मैनेजमेंट या उनकी जो प्रोफाइल वगैरह को अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए और दूसरा एक्सेप्टेंस इशू हो सकता है कंपनी की एम्प्लॉज और जो एक्सटर्नल कंसल्टेंट जो हम हायर करेंगे उनके दरमियान एक्सेप्टेंस इशू हो सकता है जो कंपनी के लिए नुकसानदेह हो जाएगी और जो एक्सटर्नल रिसर्चर होता है वो एडिशनल फ़ी वगैरह चार्ज करता है अपनी एवोलेशन फीस वगैरह को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए डेट्स एट फ्राम माई साइड चाहिए हमें साइंटिस्ट एथिक्स एंड बिजनेस रिसर्च सो एथिक्स 
is a basically a conduct of expectations and social norms norms like uh, norm actually rules which were set by some companies which should be followed to run an organization or uh, any other thing so we are studying a uh, uh, business so it is very important to understand the ethics and business research how can gonna these things gonna work and which relations <coughs> these two things are gonna make so uh, basically ethics is a business research refers to a code of conduct or perspective societal norms of behavior by conducting uh, research ethics conduct applies to organization and their member which sponsors the research the researchers who undertake the research and the responsibilities provide them the necessary data so my next slide is ethical conduct what is the ethical conduct going to mean ethical conduct is basically applies to the organization and the members that is sponsored the research which is very important that point i'm going to discussing and the observations of the ethics beings with the because uh, beginning is very important so the ethics and the member of this ethics and inserting with the search who should do in a good faith and pay attention pay attention to what research integrates and the surroundings the issue pursue organize their business and interest <coughs> there's a lot of things which have to be discussed in that slide so the observations it is being uh, beginning and discussed earlier and then i'm going to talk i'm going to talk about results results is something that that will uh, come after the research and the research reflects the behavior of the business and which business we will talk about then self interest and ethical values should also be reflected by the behavior which is very important entire research is important in that scenario and next uh, slide is participants so participants is actually uh, you know it in an, any organization participants is very important if you taking them in a you know participants change the game of the whole system the ethical behavior provide each step of the research data collection then reporting that is searching and that's what sort of taking the subjects which gonna treat is taken by the participants <clears throat> they're gonna research uh, they're gonna keep data they're gonna have some work and do efforts to make the business work the participants who provide the data and the analysis who provide the same source on the things results and the entire research term that uh, presents the entire the interpretation of the research and suggest alternative solutions the developers and analysts reporting the decision and the case and uh, with the time is well and then we can discuss the things basic journals basically the two basic journals of the business research and ethics ethics and business research that is general business ethics business ethics portfolio general basic business ethics actually journals of business uh, may mainly devoted to an issue and at this business the american psychology association established certain guidelines <coughs> <coughs> sorry and the result and show the organization and conduct in the ethical manner the second one business ethics quarterly business ethics quarterly is basically the thing as start the start discussing the role of ethics and uh, chapters that full of the input and related to the various types of research process you know and uh, that's all from my side i'll try my best to explain my part as well and uh, thank you very much uh, for further collaboration from the vm and for forwarding to the mr imran thank you assalamu alaikum my name is ahmad imran and uh, now i am going to conclude our topic so in this chapter which is the very beginning uh, chapter of our subject uh, which is introduction to research so the research is basically finding the solutions of the problems which occur in different firms and organizations or any setting of workings so the business research is the systematic and organized way to find out the solutions of the problems that occur in our different businesses and uh, in our firms in which our uh, all the activities are going so these researches develop the theories which help in different aspects to help help us in different problems 
which occur in different situations. So there are two basic types of research, basic research and applied research. Basic research is uh, the um, gathering of information for later use uh, for the problems that occur and applied research is the one which is done on a problem which is already occurring and we want to have a solution of that problems so this research is important for the managers for carrying out different decisions for carrying out different activities in the organization like uh, related to marketing finance and uh, other aspects so for this purpose of research there are different teams like some organizations have their own teams and some hire from outside to carry out the research process in and these have different advantages and disadvantages of the teams for the organization which have their own or which they hire from the outside like the ones who have their own research teams are uh, relatively less cost effective than those which are hired from the others like they charge a lot for their activities purpose and they are uh, they are uh, mostly difficult to implement their research process in the organizations so in the research project uh, uh, in the research process there must also be uh, careful for the ethics that uh, when we uh, go through this all the research process and this is all uh, the conclusion of our first chapter thank you